<laughs> Nothing can stop me now. The gingerbread man ran all the way to the river. He was laughing so hard that he didn't see the fox napping there. And he ran smack into the fox. <laughs> What's this? A yummy little gingerbread man. Oh my, my, you're in quite a hurry. Oh, I'm just as frisky as I can be. Listen to me, I'm sure you'll agree. I've run from a woman in a baking pan, some farmers a cow and a little old man. I've run through a field and under a ladder, past a baker with pies that made a fine platter. I ran from two bears and two chicken flocks. Come on, I'll show you, I can run from a fox. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Oh, you're so clever for a little gingerbread man. Indeed I am. But uh, what is that noise I hear up on the hill? Oh, my, my, my. It does look like an angry bunch of villagers coming our way. <laughs> they do look angry. And uh, hungry, too. Of course, I'm just napping after a nice big lunch. We'll get you now, you naughty cookie! Come back here, you crispy little boss and you! Come back! Come, Come back, back here! Get here. Back. Catch me, catch me, catch me if you can! You can't catch me! I'm the gingerbread man! I'm certain you're so clever, you'll easily think of a way to get across the river. Oh, the river! Of course, I'm an excellent swimmer. I. Oh, I suppose that just for you, I'd be willing to give you a ride on my back. On your back? Or would you prefer my tail? <laughs> Whoopee! So let's go! Your fur tickles my feet! <laughs> the fox just smiled. <laughs> oh, look out! Uh, this water is deep. You don't want your crispy little legs to get soggy. Uh, uh, climb up on my back. Uh, <laughs> Are they surprised? I guess I fooled them. <laughs> oh dear, uh, this is even deeper. Uh, you'd better climb up on my head. You wouldn't want to get soaked with muddy old river water. You can't get me. Na -na 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 -na. Hey, here, look at that. Oh, you see that? Say, my uh, spicy, toasty friend, uh, you'd better hop on my nose for this last part of the river, uh, just to be safe. And without even stopping to think, the gingerbread man jumped right up onto the fox's nose. And with a flick of his head, the fox tossed the gingerbread man into his mouth. <gasps> nom, nom. <laughs> Delicious. Would you believe that? Oh, no, I don't believe it. Oh, gracious. Oh, to live. He just would, wouldn't he? Yes, he just did. And he didn't even share. Oh. Then the fox stood up in the water. It wasn't very deep at all. The fox grinned at all the villagers who looked quite sad. <laughs> well, well, well. That was just the fattest, the tastiest, the freshest, the brownest, the sweetest, the plumpest, the crispiest, the spiciest, the toastiest, and the naughtiest gingerbread man I've ever tasted. And now, if you'll all excuse me, I believe I'll uh, finish my nap. And that's the end of that toasty little gingerbread man. Yeah, I would really have liked that taste, you betcha. Speaking of sweet, spicy, toasty and tasty, that gives me another good idea. The little old woman whispered a secret into the little old man's ear. Helge and I invite everyone to our little old house for a special surprise. It wasn't long before all the villagers could smell the sweet aroma coming from the little old house. And they gathered for their surprise. Oh, goody! She just would, wouldn't she? Yes, she just did. <laughs> but do you know what? This time, before the little old woman opened the oven door, she made sure that the front door was closed tight. 